Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here on this uh, Monday night. It is the Earth Master out here with an update video on an earthquake here in the Northern California area on this Monday night, 9.32 p.m. California time, 4.2. Into the area of Klamath, California, just west of there. Uh, this is into the subduction zone, it looks like, of the Cascadia. 34 kilometers into that subduction zone. It's been a little while since we've seen any movement uh, in this area. Got to watch this area pretty closely because this region is very capable of producing a 9.0 earthquake. It's been building up for about 324 years. All right. Far as that activity showing up on the seismograph station here, it looks like it did on the uh, Petrolia station uh, fairly nicely. I did not feel it. Uh, I'm outside of Chico here. But uh, it's possible some folks there in Northern California may have felt it around Eureka, Smith River area, maybe into Oregon as well. Far as the uh, magnitudes here, let's see what we got. Um, looks like they're going with, uh, well, it looks like some magnitudes up around the 4.3 range. So this could get adjusted. Right now it's just at a automatic status. Um, yeah, it's a little odd here. Let's see what we got for station details out here. Uh, some of these, some of these stations here picking up a five pointer. I doubt if it's up that high. Most of them are going to be in the four range or so. Uh, but this is just a bunch of uh, information here. Station magnitude details that the computer system uh, pretty much spits out and uh, goes, goes along with in terms of, you know, correct magnitude. A lot here in the four range, upper three range. Uh, this may get revised, hard to say exactly, but uh, it has not been reviewed by a seismologist yet. Uh, but 34 kilometers into the subduction zone, kind of curious to see if uh, that stays with that magnitude there. Uh, if that's the case, then we got to watch the southern end here of the Cascadia. Uh, Northern California has uh, you know, obviously been hit with a lot of earthquake activity offshore here, but it's those, those specific... Uh, depths there that we're looking for that could tell us that maybe something's about ready to give out here across the Cascadia. We'll wait for the update on that, but uh, 34 kilometers there for now. And really, it's been awfully, uh, it's been kind of quiet out here along the West Coast here for a little bit. Uh, Southern California as well, but it looks like we may be shifting here towards a uh, a little bit more active night. Uh, Alaska lighting up here, and uh, now we got California. Of course, Hawaii sits out here in the middle of it. Not a whole lot of change there across the Kilauea Volcano for now. But uh, all right, uh, there it is. Once again, that four-pointer showing up on the Petrolia station. And um, again, it, it may take these guys a few minutes to figure out the uh, magnitude uh, there once it gets reviewed by you know the official there. But uh, 4.2. Um... Let's see here. No station details contributed. Yeah, there's a 5.4 right there, but uh, we'll see. We'll see if they uh, update this or not. All right, guys, have a good night. Stay safe out there. Things getting a little interesting out here. Uh, 2004 definitely starting off with a, uh, a bang, so to speak. Uh, as far as that space weather activity kicking in, let me give a quick glance here at the space weather site. Um, getting ready maybe to see some X-flare possibilities here. Uh, we've had a couple different sunspots there on the sun popping off uh, lots of M flares here recently and that crackling right there that we see that consistently consistently um, instability there on that graph uh, is what we look for prior to any X flare possible uh, X flare uh, activity and those are coming off uh, from a couple different regions we can see this on the uh, center disk here of the sun and also one region down here so we'll keep an eye on that far as the aurora is kicking up, I'm not seeing it. Looks like that may have been a dud. Um, if it does, uh, it'll probably be later tonight. But uh, so far, we're behind schedule in terms of the uh, expected G2 class storm tonight. Uh, there's that uh, M flare that kicked up just a little bit ago. Like I mentioned, uh, definitely getting active in terms of uh, uh, you know this this activity. I call it popcorn activity, so to speak, because it's just very active. Instead of the typical flat line that we see out here when things get boring, uh, we're seeing all that activity really stirring up that may point towards uh, 
uh, some larger flare activity taking place. All right, 4.2, still holding steady. I just wanted to see if they got to it. Doesn't look like it. Have a good night, folks. We'll catch you guys back here a little bit later on. Stay safe out there. Peace out.